Good morning children. Welcome back. In today's session we are going to do the evaluation of unit 2 hydrosphere of fifth standard social. Come children let us learn. Before going into the evaluation part let us learn the key points once more. Children earth is made up of land, water and air. Water is necessary for all life forms. Whether it is human, plants or animals, water is a necessity. Of the water available, 3% of water is fresh water and it is found in the ground, lakes, ponds, streams and rivers. Children, there are five major oceans in the world, the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian, the Southern and the Arctic Ocean. Waterfall forms when river falls from a great height. We must be very careful when we use the water. Now let us learn the evaluation part. Roman number one, choose the correct answer. Question number one. Hydrosphere is the total amount of dash present on earth. Hydrosphere is the total amount of dash present on earth. Options are air, water, land, plants. The answer is water. Hydrosphere is the total amount of water present on the earth. Question number two. Find the odd one find the odd one. Options are Ganga, Atlantic, Arctic, Pacific. The answer is very good. Ganga because that is a river. Other three are all oceans. Question number three. Water body that is surrounded by land on all sides is called dash. Water body that is surrounded by land on all sides is called options are river, gulf, lake, bay. The answer is lake. Water body that is surrounded by land on all sides is called a lake. Question number four. Evaporation is the dash stage of the water cycle. Evaporation is a la dash stage of the water cycle. Options are first, second, third, fourth. Answer is first. Evaporation is the first stage of the water cycle. Question number five. Dash is a broad inlet of water body where the land curves inward. Dash is a broad inlet of the water body where the land curves inward. The answer is B and the options are C, straight, bay, pond. A bay is a broad inlet of water body where the land curves inward. We can see in the picture Bay of Bengal. Moving to Roman number 2, match the following. First one, fresh water, Sambar Lake. Lagoon, Park Strait, joins Indian Ocean and Bay of Bengal, formation of cloud, inland saltwater lake, Chilika in Odisha, condensation, Kolera Lake. The answers are freshwater as Kolera Lake, Lagoon, Chilika in Odisha, joins Indian Ocean and Bay of Bengal as a Park Strait. Inland salt water lake is a sambar lake. Condensation is the formation of cloud. Let us move to Roman number 3. Write true or false. Question number 1. About 97% of water on the earth is salt water. About 97% of water on the earth is salt water. The answer is true. Question number two. Water is not necessary for our basic needs. Water is not necessary for our basic needs. 
and so risk falls it is necessary for our basic needs water in the sea is sweet water in the sea is sweet answer is false the water in the sea is salty question number four we should keep the tap open throughout while washing utensils we should keep the tap open throughout while washing utensils answer is false we have to use the tap very wisely and use it only when it is needed question number five we should save water we should save water the answer is true we have to save water moving to roman number four answer the following question number one define hydrosphere define hydrosphere hydrosphere is the total amount of water present on the earth which includes water on the surface under the ground and in the air hydrosphere is a total amount of water present on the earth which includes water on the surface under the ground and in the air question number two why is hydrosphere important why is hydrosphere important answer is we need water to carry out many activities in our day-to-day -day life that is to drink take bath cook food etc animals and plants also need water for their survival if there is no water the clouds would not be formed and there would be no rain Moving to question number three, name the different types of water bodies. Name the different types of water bodies. You can write any of the options that is given in the book. We will write oceans, seas, river, pond, lake. Any four you can write. Oceans, sea, river, pond, lake. Moving to Roman number five answer the following in detail answer the following in detail question number one what are the different stages of water cycle what are the different stages of water cycle the answer is stage one evaporation stage one evaporation the heat energy of the sun falls on the water bodies like ocean sea lake river etc and it evaporates as vapor into the air stage two condensation as the vapors rise high the cooler temperatures make them cool down and turn back into liquid this is called condensation the wind moves the liquid around leading to the formation of clouds stage 3 precipitation wind movements cause the cloud particles to collide they become rain bearing cloud and fall back onto the earth's surface and this process is precipitation in the form of rain hail snow or dew depending on temperature stage 4 is runoff and infiltration the water either run off to oceans, rivers and ground surface or is absorbed into the soil and this cycle continues. Question number two, give few steps to save water. Give few steps to save water. Turn off tap while brushing teeth. Take shorter baths. Turn off tap while applying soap. Turn off tap after each use. Don't flush tissue paper or waste into the toilet.
with that we wind up today's evaluation session children thank you for watching for more videos and book back exercises please subscribe and share our youtube channel thank you for watching stay blessed